we were talking about how you need to know your self-worth and how you need to price yourself and the um, struggles with that because a lot of the times you aren't quite sure what you should charge if you're charging too much if you're not charging enough and how to take you seriously so basically what we were talking about we'll get a little bit stronger there <laughs> is um, Roseanne had some really good points that I, at the moment, if you are following me on Twitter, you would have saw that I tweeted about it, um, that basically she had some really good points on talking about how to not do free and that you gotta know what your self-worth is. So kind of just a recap, if you will, on that one, Roseanne. I'll turn the camera a little oh, over to you. thanks. <laughs> anyways, Kelsey, I know you're watching us. So anyways, I was just uh, telling Ed specifically Concert. that um, basically when it comes to like free you know you have to think about your self-worth because if you are constantly doing things for free I mean there it's one thing to like do it out of the goodness of your own heart to just say I'm just giving this service for free because I care I want to help somebody but there is a threshold there's there's a timeout where you have to say you know what I value myself I value my services there is gonna be a dollar sign on my services and I am confident enough to put that dollar sign on my services and charge people for my services because if you think about it if you're constantly doing for free for free or trade or anything like that then that's what you're gonna be known for is that you give free services but you want people to come to you who are willing to take your services but yes at a price so I think when you do have that confidence in yourself and you have the ability to say this is my service this is the value of my service this is the dollar sign attached to my service and this is what you're going to benefit from by utilizing my service and then definitely by doing a trade or doing anything for free then basically you are in a way um, saying that you are not worth that money and like I said it's one thing to just be able to say I am going to offer this service for free because I care, I want to help a friend out. Okay, we all do that. I do that all the time. But if you are trying to establish a business, and I have a couple of friends who are doing this and have gotten into this loop of doing stuff for free, and they're wondering why am I not um, thriving in my business, well, basically, you might be doing a little too much trade or a little too much for free work. Feel confident enough to say, this is how much I'm worth here are my services and here's the value that I place on my services. So if you are starting a business, just have enough confidence and enough self-awareness to place money on your services and you want people to be drawn to you for your services and also be willing to spend money on those services. Boom, mic drop. So that's really what I wanted to come at you guys with tonight. Yeah, Roseanne did a great job. You know, she's uh, she's been doing some periscopes uh, on her channel, you know, trying to test the waters. And like some of you uh, who haven't done scopes before, you're kind of nervous, you're timid, you know, a little bit shy, maybe vulnerable, uh, because it is, it's scary. You know, uh, after you practice a few times and you keep doing them, you'll get better. But that was by far the best scope Roseanne had. And did it perfectly and you know it helps when you team up with someone it helps when you jump on other people's scopes as well as it helps if you're just commenting and joining the conversation on other people's scopes as well